Motor Week is made possible by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper and TireRack.com. Now it's time for part two of our annual look at what's new from America's automakers. This week we'll see what Ford has in store for 1993. The 1993 model year for Ford actually began last spring when the second generation Probe Sport Coupe was introduced. Made in America in cooperation with Mazda, the three-door Probe has a longer wheelbase and is more capable than before. All engines are now of Mazda design. A 164-horsepower V6 replaces last year's Turbo 4 on the Probe GT. Besides excellent front-drive handling and available anti-lock brakes, the Probe features sleek cab-forward styling and surrounding cockpit-style interior with driver's side airbag. We've been waiting almost since the first Probe arrived for an automatic transmission to be added to the potent Taurus SHO, and it's finally here. With a four-speed automatic and speed-sensitive steering, Ford expects sales for its Yamaha-powered front-drive sports sedan to take off, and so do we. Also, so auto SHO owners won't think they're second best, engine torque is higher in the automatic SHO than the manual. So stoplight to stoplight acceleration is equal for both. With all this front drive performance, you may have thought Ford had forgotten rear wheel drive. Not so. With one more year before a major redesign, Ford is souping up its venerable Mustang. Dubbed Cobra, its V8 horsepower is up 40 to 245. 0 to 60 times have dropped to under 6 seconds. A solid rod 5-speed shifter, beefier brakes, and a better balanced suspension complete this charmer. Red, black, or teal are the three color choices, and excessive tack-on body parts have been thankfully avoided. Unfortunately, Ford did not avoid adding a chrome grille to the full-size Crown Victoria. We think it detracts from the rest of the car's clean, modern shape. The always clean Ford Thunderbird has only minor changes this year, but does have a lower price. Ford's one-price program, successful on the Escort, has now spread to the T-Bird and to the Mercury Cougar as well. This year, the only Cougar model carries the XR7 designation, but the V8 is now an option. Ford has moved its former station wagon designation, Villager, to a first-time minivan. The front drive Villager was designed mostly by Nissan, who sells their version as the Quest. But the Villager is built by Ford and uses mostly Ford suppliers for everything except the V6 powertrain. That's pure Nissan. The interior is luxurious and very versatile. However, there is no airbag, although the Villager does have standard four-wheel anti-lock brakes. Lincoln has few changes to its sedans for 1993, while final tuning takes place on the new Mark 8 Coupe due in late December. The Mark 8 Swift styling departs completely from the current upright Mark 7, except for the hint of a Continental kit on the trunk lid. The Mark 8 is the first car to get the twin cam version of Ford's 4.6 liter modular V8. At 280 horsepower, this 32 valve engine will also power the next generation Mustang. Ford is the top provider of light trucks in the U.S., with its F-Series the number one selling vehicle in America. But for 1993, attention focuses on the compact Ranger. It has been rethought with a decidedly youthful result. Wider, more stable, with a higher payload than before, the body bulges with curves and wide tires. The new Ranger is designed to appeal to those who see trucks as an affordable alternative to cars. That's why the interior is so car-like. Normal and stretched super cabs are again offered, as well as two and four wheel drive models. The Ranger 4x4 has its own grille work and more rugged front appearance. Three engines are offered, with the top 4 liter V6 the recommended choice for 4x4 owners. Ford's electronically activated touch drive transfer case is standard on the Ranger 4x4. And that's our case for thinking that Ford will continue to stand out among American automakers again in 1993. 